Today in Pre-Cal, we reviewed the characteristics of parent functions, what they are, what their graphs look like, domain and range, stuff like that. So starting with the first one, the parent function for the linear is y equals x. If I put that in my calculator and graphed it, it would be a straight line, like so. And um, it goes through the origin, and you could use your calculator to get that. The domain, as I move from left to right, is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And that could also be said as all real numbers. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. All real numbers. All real numbers is probably how your professor would say it if you were in college. That's why I want to make you more familiar with that. Then if we're talking about range, we're going from the lowest point to the highest point. So the range is from negative infinity to infinity, or all real numbers. The symmetry is with respect to the origin. And finally, the zeros, remember zeros just means the x-intercepts, and in this case, that is 0, 0. Moving along to the quadratic parent function, that's y equals x squared. It's a parabola. If we look at the domain from left to right, it goes from negative infinity to infinity. The range, as we come up from the bottom, there's nothing happening until we get to 0. So we've got 0, and 0 is included, all the way to infinity. The symmetry is with respect to the y-axis, and the 0 is at 0, 0. If we look at the cubic parent function, it's y equals x cubed, and it looks like so. And if we are wanting to look at the domain and range of that. The domain is all real numbers. Everything from left to right, there's a value. The range is all real numbers. And there is no symmetry. And the zeros are again at zero, zero, because that's the point where it crosses the x-axis. If we want to look at the parent function of the square root, it's y equals the square root of x, which is a curve like so. Remember that is a curve, not a line. Watch out for that. If we want to look at the domain, it starts at 0 and goes on to infinity. The range also goes from 0 to infinity. There is no symmetry, and at 0 is at 0, 0. That's where it crosses the x-axis. Finally, if I'm looking at the absolute value, it's y equals the absolute value of x. Remember, absolute value just means take the positive of. The graph is like a v shape. Its domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Its range, if I'm moving from the bottom to the top, it starts at zero and moves to infinity. It's symmetric with respect to the y-axis and at zero is at zero, zero. Notice that on all of these we have zeros at the origin. And that is always true of these parent functions. Remember the difference in a parent function and any other function is this is the most basic one, the one that all the other ones come from. Just like you have parents, you might resemble them in what you look like or attitude or different characteristics, at the very least DNA, you have some resemblance. Same thing with these parent functions. These are the ones that they start with. Everything that's different than that, whether it be a reflection, a rotation, a shift up, down, left, or right, it all started here, and that's what gives you an idea of what each of these would look like. The assignment today is A10, and that's page 71 and 72, numbers 10 through 24 even, 52 to 53, 55 to 59. As a bonus for watching this, I'd like to go over two examples with you from that homework and make sure you understand the instructions. So let's look at number 10 from the homework, which says y equals or f of x equals 3x minus 5 halves. If I take it and put it in my calculator, and for y equals, be sure, being sure that I put 5 halves in parentheses, then I can go look at the graph, and it's linear, which I would have expected because there's no squared, square roots, anything like that going on here. Then I want to plot three different points so I can get a good sketch of the graph. So I'm going to draw an x and y axis. I'm going to use my calculator and go to my table by hitting second graph, and I'm going to pull some points from there. I'm going to pull um, negative 2, negative 
which would be about here, negative 1 and negative 0.5, and 0, 2.5. As long as I have three points, I can connect them to make a line. And that's a good sketch of what that would look like. That would be a perfectly acceptable answer in your homework. I want three points and then a sketch of the graph. That's all that I need you to do. On one like number 53, that's the other type of problem that they gave you, they're giving you a graph. For example, it might look it looked like that in number 53. And all I want you to do is give me the words for what the parent function is. So on this one, you can tell that it's a V-shape, so the parent function is the absolute value. And that was it for today. If you have more questions, let me know.